Alright everybody, gonna get a, give a little update for you. Um, got some exciting news. But first, I'm gonna make sure the truck still runs. And give you guys a little bit of a cold start. It's not real cold out today, maybe, I don't know, 35 degrees. Warmed up quite a bit. Um, I started the truck up a couple times so far this winter, but I really haven't ran it. So we'll see what happens. See what the temperature is. 42. It still runs. Oh yeah, and I got a tunnel cover. Anyways, let's head in the barn and I'll uh, show you guys uh, my update. Well, here it is. This is my second engine. Um, it's actually not in too bad a shape. I picked it up for $140. I'll pull these uh, main bearing bolts out and pull this cap off so you guys can see what the bearings are like on it. Not awful, not great. Crank's okay. Um, doesn't really matter, it's gonna get all new bearings anyway. Anyways, the cylinder boards aren't too bad. I did have it upright and then I didn't take a video of it. Anyways, the boards aren't terrible. Um, it's gonna get bored anyway. Now, I'm not really sure what I'm doing for pistons and rods. Uh, probably, I'm, I'm wanting to go forged on pistons and rods. But the problem is there's no forged pistons available for the 300. There are forged rods available. You can't get pistons that'll fit. Um, so, I may end up boring it over to another size, like 50 over, I think. You can get forged pistons for, and you'd have to get different rods. And you end up bushing them or something, bushing the pins and stuff on them. I haven't gotten that far yet, but I do plan on going on forged pistons and rods in this build. I want to build it for more boost than what I'm running right now. The goal 
is 500 horsepower. And uh, it's doable. I'm sure you guys have all seen the Power Nation videos. It's doable. I think I can duplicate it pretty easily. Probably going to have to have a custom grind cam. Uh, which brings me to my next point. Going to need a good cylinder head. Which is exactly what's sitting right here. Some of you guys are thinking that probably just looks like a stock 300 cylinder head. But it is CNC ported. And it's got heavy valves in it. Heavy springs. Uh, I believe it's been machined out for smaller springs, but I don't actually know that. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's got some pretty heavy springs in it. It's been milled down and cut for 716 valve um, or rocker arm studs. And it's got 194 and 160 valves in it with hardened valve seats. So this is a pretty much the baddest to the bone cylinder head you can get for a 300 on a stock casting without doing the chopped up LS head deal. This is about the baddest cylinder head that money can buy for a 300. So we're going to see how it works out. I believe this is the same one that they used in the Power Nation videos. Probably going to go with a Harlan Sharp uh, roller rocker, full roller. Probably going to go with a custom grind cam, similar to the one that they used in the Power Nation video. And uh, going to go with the factory crank. Still staying with the Holly Sniper and the HD manifold for now. But at least I've got a start on a second engine. But yep, we're going for 500 horsepower. And uh, I think it's doable. They did it on, I think, 13 or 14 pounds of boost. With four draws and pistons, I should be able to handle that no problem. And I think the block will take it no problem. And I think the cylinder head is more than capable of making 500 horsepower. I think... The, I think it flows around 220 CFM, which is much better than the factory head. I'm, I'm thinking the factory head is somewhere around 160 something. So pretty big improvement over that. Between that boost and a large cam, I think 500 horsepower is not going to be a problem. So this is my update. This is all I got for you guys right now. It's going to be a little while before I get this engine built. Um just between buying all the parts and finding a machine shop to go through this block and everything. It's just, it's going to be a little while, but I'm hoping springtime comes around. I can have this engine done maybe around April or May. Um, hopefully not into June, but possibly I can just yank that other engine out, take all the intake and everything off, fold it onto this one, slap this in the truck and hopefully have a 500 horsepower truck. But that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Till next time, this has been Wasted Paycheck Garage.